So when David Freiberg calls you and says, hey, I got three motors we're throwing away. Do you guys want them? Yes, I want them. Free motors, are you kidding me? And they're all the other guys. We got a Buick 454, a 292 inline Chevy six cylinder, and a 472 Cadillac, which I'm already dubbing Battlestar Catalactica. It's a name I stole from somebody. I'll go over that whole story later on when we cover the motor, but I don't know what kind of shape they're in. We're gonna go down and see. But if, when they call you and tell you, hey, we got motors that are free, road trip, love truck stop. Got some homemade uh, engine stands back there. So we're going down to see Dulcich, who's a great guy. Thanks, Freiburger. We're on our way. Okay, here we go. All strapped up. Got a bunch of the other guys. Got a Cadillac. Got a Buick. And a Cadillac's even a 500. And 292 inline six cylinder Chevy. It's just begging for boost. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm in the truck. I'm in the back of the truck. Guess what else is back here with me? I got not one, not two, but three different engines. Not just three engines, three other guys. Thanks to David Freiberg called me up and said, hey, we got three engines, or we're gonna throw them away. If you don't want them, why would anybody throw engines away? I mean, these are awesome. But as it turns out, they're all perfect like other guys' candidates. Now we gotta do a little bit of work with them, so I wanna go over each one. But after he called, I grabbed my boys, we jumped in the truck, hauled it down to see Steve Dolce's, <laughs> Steve Dolce's house and picked these up. You know, took a little bit of work, but that's part of the deal. It's always an adventure. That's why road trips are awesome. But the three motors I got are all perfect for, you know, a little testing, a little tuning, and a little turbo. First one, 292 inline six-cylinder Chevy. You know, the big six, which is awesome. I haven't ever put one of those up on the dyno, so I'm excited about that. As a matter of fact, all three of these engines, I've never done any of these up on the dyno. So it's cool, I like, the, I like it, it's my first time. I'm gonna learn about them. We're gonna learn what makes the six work. We're gonna do, you know, all the normal stuff. We'll probably try, first of all, we have to go over what's going on with these motors. Um, I was told the six cylinder was a runner when it was removed, so I'm hoping that that goes on and runs and we don't have any problems with it, which would be super cool to have a running engine that goes up on the dyno. Now, right now it has all the stock stuff on it, got the stock exhaust manifold, got the stock intake manifold, stock carburetor. Um, obviously, we're gonna have to change the, get a cap and plug wires and plugs and all that stuff, but that's all very minor stuff. So we'll run it probably stock, and then I wanna look into making some mods. We'll do the normal stuff. You know, I'll look at maybe a ported head. We obviously will do a camshaft and springs in it. And we're definitely gonna do a header on it. Probably run nitrous on it. But the thing I'm most excited about with the six cylinder is I wanna look into the intake manifold. Now I know the guys from Clifford have the intake manifold that allows you to bolt the four barrel. They also have an intake that allows you to bolt multiple carburetors on them. Maybe you can multiple two barrels or multiple Webers or whatever it is. And that's all cool. And I, I think that a lot of that stuff has kind of been done. I, the Clifford stuff works well, we know what it does. But in looking at this intake manifold and looking at the stuff from Clifford that I was able to see online, I have some ideas about doing other things with the intake manifold. Intake manifolds right behind force induction are kind of my favorite thing on the motor. So I think I'm gonna make a custom intake manifold and we're gonna try a couple of different things. Now I might take this factory manifold and I, I know um, from talking to my stepdad, he said, yeah, when these guys had these six owners, one of the things that they used to do is they would, um, like cut and weld these factory manifolds and then put multiple carburetors just on those on the factory one. So I kind of am thinking I might be able to do that and we'll see if that works. And if not, I'm gonna make a dedicated aluminum manifold that's going to be like nothing else that's in the industry right now. So it'd be pretty cool. I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about maybe running boost with it. So I'm trying to figure out, obviously I know how to make the turbo work. We can even use the stock exhaust manifold to get going. I just run the tube from the stock exhaust manifold up to a T3 or T4 turbo flange, put the turbo on I want, 
And then, then I have to figure out how are we gonna get fuel to it? Because we're obviously not gonna be able to blow through the factory two barrel carburetor. So I wanna do something else there. Maybe a four barrel adapter, maybe a different manifold, maybe an EFI four barrel deal. Who knows, even if we put a four barrel on it and I run it through the CSU carburetor, we could do that. There's a lot of options there and I'm gonna look and see what would be most usable, most adaptable to the rest of the guys out there that have these six cylinders and what, what maybe would they try. Um, I kind of would really like to try a draw through <laughs> where we mount the carburetor in front of the turbo, but I obviously have to get the right turbo for that. So I'm gonna kind of look into that. That would be kind of cool. But it, we, either way, it's going to get boost somehow. It's going to get nitrous. It's going to get a cam. I'm hoping we can do a ported head. Um, you know, we're gonna try some cool stuff on the six cylinder. So I'm excited about that one. Next one, Buick. 455. That's right, another other guy's 455. So I've run a Pontiac already. I've got a Buick here. Now I need to do is look for an Oldsmobile. But we've got the Buick 455, and on my way back from picking this up, I got on the horn with Jim Bell, and a lot of guys, especially younger guys, think, oh, Jim Bell, that's the supercharger guy. Well, no, before Jim Bell was a supercharger guy, he was actually the Grand National and Cyclone and Typhoon guy. And even before that, he was the other Buick guy. He was a Buick guy and had, and had done tons of stuff with these 400s and 455s and all that stuff. So I talked to him about what I need to expect when I'm running this thing on the dyno and talked to me a little bit about changes that we might need to do to the oiling system. But again, like with the, what, with the six cylinder, I wanna to try to do the same things with the 455. We wanna run that on the dyno, make sure it's okay. Before I even put it up there, I'm probably gonna spin it with a um, drill and make sure that we have oil pressure, that it's all good. Because this one uh, is a little bit of an unknown. Uh, when Freiburger got this motor, they were gonna put it in something and they got it and never did. So it's never been run in one of their cars and it hasn't been run on the dyno. So this will be the first time for it. So I'm hoping for good things. You know, we'll put it, um, I'll, I'll check the oil pressure, it has oil pressure. We'll probably put it up on the dyno and just spin it and do a cranking compression test, see if it's got thing. And maybe we'll do a leak down test before that. But right now it has all of the factory stuff on it. It um, looks like it has, it might be an aftermarket distributor. It does, definitely has aftermarket wires. Looks like it has a stock intake manifold on it. But I, I'm thinking that it's a stone stock uh, Buick 455. I'm going to take a look and see what the, um, I wasn't told what the year of the motor is. So I want to look in, at the, um, the head the, and, and the uh, block casting number so I can find out what year it is and at least have some kind of starting point so I know what the rated power output was. So I know whether or not when we run it on the dyno that, yeah, that's about what it should make or that's not even close, it's too much, it probably has a cam and heads on it or it doesn't make hardly any and should it do that or is it hurt? So I'll figure all of that stuff out, but I'm excited about the Buick. Now we're gonna run you know, a few different intake manifolds. Obviously we'll do, probably do some stuff with the guys from Edelbrock. Um, I wanna flow test these heads because I'm working on something else that I can't talk about right now but we're going to be doing another story that's super cool that will involve me flowing those heads. Um, I want to see what the short block is and see how much piston to valve we have available so, so I know how much camshaft we can put in it. One of the things I was warned about this is that um, you don't want to run a lot of RPM with a Buick without doing the oiling mods, and I'll go over what uh, Jim Bell recommended um, with the guys from, I, I think it's TA Performance. So we're going to work with those guys too. So a lot of cool stuff on the Buick. I'm really excited because like the six-cylinder, it's something that I've never done before. So now let's get to our third and final test motor. Okay, we went over the inline six cylinder and we went over the 455 Buick both, which I'm super excited about. And I think that there's a good chance that the six cylinder is a runner and a good chance, I'm hoping, got my fingers crossed, that the 455 is a runner. Now, the last motor that I got, again, it's another one that I've never run before, so I'm kind of excited about it. And it's the biggest of the bunch. It is a 500 inch Cadillac. I mean, a 472 would have been good. The 500, awesome, because it's 500. But there's a problem with this. This is the same Cadillac that uh, Freiburg and Dulcich used in the Gremlin, and, and Finnegan too, I think, used in the Gremlin, and it, they were actually drag racing it. So this, this thing has actually seen some runs and stuff, and they were running nitrous on it, and noticed um, it started to lose oil pressure. So I'm guessing it probably spun a bearing or something. So this thing might need to be, um, this baby right here might need to be rebuilt but it already has an aluminum intake manifold on it, so maybe I'll try to find a factory manifold so that we can run it in. I like to always start off with these things and run them 
in a factory stock kind of condition, especially if I can find uh, stock exhaust manifolds. That way we can do one of the tests that I always like to do, and that's to run long tube headers on it. I'd like to do an intake upgrade to find out what's going on there. Then obviously we'll do the, the normal stuff. We'll try uh, taking a look at these heads, try porting them. Um, I'm not too familiar with Cadillacs, but I know that there's some interchangeability with the heads and the chamber size so that we can up the compression. I don't know where this one is because I don't know what year it is yet. But after I take a look at that and find out what year it is, it'll give me an idea what my head choices are. Um, so I want to do that. Obviously, we want, we'll look into porting those. Definitely a camshaft, but again, like, like the 455 Buick, this 500 inch Cadillac is not an RPM motor. They specifically, <laughs> everyone that I've talked to has said the same thing. You do not want to run a lot of RPM with these things. And so I'm going to talk to some Cadillac experts. So if you are a Cadillac expert out there, please reach out to me. Um, if you sell aftermarket parts for Cadillacs, reach out to me if there are heads available and things like that for me and you'd like to be involved, please reach out to me and let me know because I'm excited about the Cadillac just because it's basically the biggest motor that they offered during uh, during this era, so I'm real excited about that. So the 500, the 455, and the 292, all brand new motors for me. I'm really excited about it, and obviously with the Cadillac, um, I forgot to mention, we're definitely gonna run Boost, because if you take a look at uh, what Amir did from Spectre, with their streamliner, they ran turbocharged Cadillac motors in it. So we know that, <laughs> like any motor, that they can take boost and they can make a lot of power. This thing I'm looking for some like real serious grunt from. I mean, a 500 inch motor is kind of a serious deal and we should have plenty of torque from it. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully it's a high compression version and hopefully we have a little bit of head flow, but like the Buick, I'm gonna take that head off and we'll flow it and find out how well it does. But everybody is gonna get cam and ported heads and, and certainly nitrous because it's so easy and certainly boost probably a turbo I'm thinking. So we'll have to make some, uh, fabricate some turbo manifolds out of, out of shorty headers or even, even the stock stuff. So let me know in the comments guys, would you rather see a a homemade turbo kit done out of the factory exhaust manifolds, which you normally get if you go get one of these from the wrecking yard, or would you rather see it with maybe something a little bit more efficient, like um, you know shorty headers or something like that, or, or build dedicated turbo manifolds? I really don't want to do that because I'm not going all out. And honestly, I think with the kind of boost and the power output that I'd be running on any of the, any of these motors. Um, the factory exhaust manifold is going to flow more than enough, or certainly a set of shorty headers in the case of the V8s. Um, I'm excited about trying the different headers on the six cylinder um, because they have, you know, I'd like to try a six into one. I'd like to try a tri Y, which works real well on an inline six cylinder. I'm just excited as heck. <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, I got to do my first uh, road trip with my two sons, which was awesome, although it was hard for them. Um, I, we really put them to work. It was hot down there, uh, loading these motors up and building these crates and doing all that stuff. So it was a cool deal. You know, truck stop food, it's really hot. You work really hard, but you come back with three motors. I'm Richard Holder, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and definitely make sure to comment. If you're one of the guys or you want to see specific testing on either and any of these motors, we probably will do the six cylinder and the Buick first because I'll probably take the Cadillac in and have the guys at LNR look at it and, and tell me what's wrong. Maybe it needs a new crank or rods or just or just bearings. Maybe it's okay. We'll find out and maybe I'll do a teardown video on that so you guys can look at it. But let me know what you guys want to see. What else did I miss in my description of the things that we want to do? What else do you guys want to see? Thanks for watching.